Hey everyone, Asta is near. Welcome back to another Asta review. So I haven't done this Asta reviews thing in a while, so I'll be doing this with a game that has lately become popular for a horror game: Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning. So you might think it's not a horror game, but it really is. You don't judge a book by its covers. Another one of those, like with Doki Doki Literature Club, don't judge a book by its cover. So. Baldi's Education Learning is one of those games that looks like shit, but it's on purpose. One of those 1999 type games that you might find from random places that you don't even know the game publishers or something like that. And, well, I played this for myself after watching YouTubers play it, and I just played it just a minute ago, and I'm scared. I was going to play it for Let's Play, but I wasn't sure to actually play it for uh, YouTube, so... So I decided to just play for myself and then make an Austin reviews of it. So I'm going to review it right now. So this game was made on purpose to look like shit. Under all the mystery of the game, it's actually a horror game. No running in the you, you get this. When you start, you get this Baldi guy. His name is Baldi. B-A-L-D-I. Like it says in the title of the game. And... Well, he can look creepy. So the first door you go to, you get these problems of math. Now, I don't really have problems with math because no my favorite home. subject is math, actually. Back in school, but... Detention for you. The first time you do the... One. I guess it's called the thinking pad, I believe. I don't remember for sure. But I got all the three correct. And I got a quarter. But the second one... Oh, the second thinking, and so on for the others. Oh boy, that's a lot of glitches. <laughs> and when you get it wrong, you get angry. And then you hear the spanky. Like speaking of an asshole. <laughs> and it's not really an asshole. It's actually him hitting his ruler. Because you're about to beat the shit out of you. And, well, what you have to do is find all the seven notebooks, but I guess you could just call it thinky pads, in blue doors, and then exit. So, I don't know if I'm ever going to beat the game, but for a game with simple, like, pixelated type graphics, it's really creepy. Because he's just, no running in the hall. he just looks creepy. 15 seconds. It's, he looks like a guy that would beat the shit out of kids, and that's not a good thing. But for a game, this is a pretty cool game to play if you're bored as shit. And the game will be description below if you actually want to play for yourself. Or watch YouTubers play it if you are scared of playing it for some reason. But yeah, I give this game about 7 or 8 out of 10. So, the game is things below, like I just said, but I don't know why I'm repeating it. Make sure to like, conscious guy subscribe to join the Wubby Gamers. The game... Make sure to share to help me and the game creator and everyone involved. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Help me, please. I am dying because of Baldi. Help.